What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome back to The Journey. Where I'm building different squads, we progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players really overperform, they live up to their card value, and other guys that kind of drop the ball. A little bit of a disappointment. And before I begin, if you guys need any Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFACoinsToday.com. The links will be in the description and make sure to use the code MIKESO9. M-I-C-H-S. Zero 09 in order to get an additional 10% off on every single purchase. Today we've got a Portuguese side and we're keeping things on that discount shopping tip. Almost any squad that you put together from the Portuguese league though should be relatively cheap. This one cost me 5,900 coins. We're going with the bread and butter, the 41212. I wanted to keep it sweaty. I wanted to keep it moving. I wanted to put up some goals and get promoted from Division 2. We've been undefeated though. We've been on a roll and we get into match number one. And if you guys could drop a comment and let me know what's the best hidden league. And when I'm talking about hidden leagues, leagues that people don't use nearly enough, but there's a lot of talented players, whether they're a bunch of silvers, maybe even they're full of bronze beasts. Perhaps they have a bunch of non-rare golds that can really use and abuse as we get a chip through ball to start things out. Martinez weak foot does not matter across the keeper. Easy finish from about seven or eight yards out. And if we could smash 300 likes on this video, that would be incredible. And I'm just getting back from the Kick TV Invitational, which happened in New York City this past week. And I cannot speak about the results. I can guarantee it's gonna be some entertaining games. Ooh, Rodrigo just puts it wide of the post. And I am so excited and I just feel very grateful to have had this opportunity to go out there and do some analysis, do some player previews, made a lot of videos for Kick TV Gaming. And you should be seeing me on their channel uh, a lot in the next coming weeks or whatnot. And that's just a really cool tournament. I'm um, Hopefully my channel grows a lot. Maybe I'll be able to take part in it next year. But I was still happy to be involved in any sort of way. And my voice, though, is a little bit shot because of all the commentaries and combining that with New York City weather. I'm not used to the cold. Threw me off. For you guys that don't know, I live in Houston, Texas. And it's hot almost all, all year round. It really does not get cold here. As we get a rebound, we're back in the game. All right, Martinez, you've got a couple goals for me. What can you make happen? Can we pull away? Can we get a third? We haven't dropped the game yet in Division 2. We've got to make something happen. Great first touch on the left foot. A bit of a sweaty goal. Feeds Varela. And there's so many players I like in the Portuguese league. The only problem is there's not very much depth. Uh, and that's a little bit of a disappointment. I haven't seen other people's videos with the Portuguese players. I haven't seen people really do reviews over them. But... In terms of depth and having a lot of different options, I don't think there's much of that at all. There can't be that much variation between my squad and some other people that are playing uh, with Portuguese sides. Oh, he's got a bit of a hybrid in game number two. Diego Costa and Benzema, that could cause some problems. But let's talk about the squad as Adair cuts inside. Uh, a little bit unlucky my opposition was there. Just bounces right into my path, gets sweaty. we got to take that goal. We've got Helton and Net. And he's one of my uh, favorite goalkeepers to use this year. Probably in my top 10. Had a lot of fun with him. He's very consistent. I never have to worry about him making stupid stuff. And ooh, Danilo. Ooh, that is a sick finish. Nobody can take that away from you. That's my right back, fellas. That's my right back putting that home. And I have Sandro as a uh, as a left back. Pretty solid all, over, all the way around. Team him up with Mangola. It's a great combination. Rojo is a bit of a risk. I didn't know if I was going to enjoy using him or not. I thought that he performed relatively well. Teamed him up with Danilo. Another solid back. Unfortunately, I do give up a goal there for Benzema. Ah, don't like that at all. But this game is going to be back and forth. Varela cuts to the inside. We've got the finesse shot. And whenever you see that bounce, that's going to happen right before the keeper. For whatever reason, they misplay it quite a bit in this FIFA. Adair, little one-two action. And I want to do a tutorial over that skill move. I've used it a lot in FIFA and I think that it's just such a effective move in a lot of different situations. People are not expecting it. And I don't see it used nearly enough online. I was talking to one of my buddies, uh, Kazooie, and he was talking about how effective it's been for him. Oh, as we can see, the penalty kick. Almost right from kickoff, too. Kind of embarrassing. Made a poor choice there. But look, my boy Helton's feeling confident. And I just had the full read on where he was going. Get the save. And that really frustrated him as we pull away. Get a nice little roulette there. Beautiful finish. 4-1. See how the game can change oh so quickly. Then we have Matic, the CDM. And I think that he is a pretty pretty good player. He doesn't have amazing stats, but he's like 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 he's massive. And you can see his size uh, at that CDM roll. Look at that. Dancing around the keeper. I love I love the ball rolls this year. They've really been on back on the come up. 
There was a couple years where I thought they were useless, but this year, oh man, it's gl I'm happy to have you back, Mr. Ball Roll. Been one of my favorite skill moves. Another thing that I want to drop a tutorial on, because I use them often, 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 and often. As we win the division title, we got 13,000 coins. We've been promoted to Division 1. I'm going to play one more game. Let's see how this team carries over in Division 1, where the best players are supposed to be. And on the outside, we've got Varela, the left mid. And this guy's a beast. Uh, if you haven't tried him out, he is one of those guys that you will remember using. He will outperform a lot of different left mids in the game. I, I can almost put a lot of money on that. He's just talented. He's big. He's fast. He's strong. He can shoot. You name it, he can do it. We're dancing on the sideline. Great, great facilitation there. Martinez, perfect first touch. Finishes it with his off foot. And that guy is automatic. Then we have Salvio. I never really used him before. He's kind of just a burner for me on that right mid slot. Uh, nothing too crazy about him. Nothing that really stood out, but he is fast. And I'm using Rodrigo as a cam. I think that he has good work rates for the cam position. I think it's a medium high. He seems to do a lot of in-behind runs. Teamed up great with Martinez and Adair. And both of those guys equal goal production every day of the week. They're very similar players, and they can do everything well. Plus, they're both about 6'2", 6'3". They're not going to lose things in the air. They offer you a complete strike force combination, and I can't, I couldn't be happier. And look at Varela there with another little roulette. See how quickly he exits out of skill moves. He, he, he almost just feels like he's using a bigger version of Nani. Uh, definitely not the same type of player as Ronaldo. Maybe a really cheap version, but it's hard for me to compare anybody to Ronaldo. I just don't think it's fair expectations. Ooh, if we get another victory and we're staying 3 and 0 in the EP. And we started out well in Division 1. And I can't wait to push out some more videos. I have a lot more content on the way. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on uh, Twitter at Mike's9USA, and more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.